Hey everybody, it's Friday. Time for Facebook Friday. I hope you guys have had a good week. I've got a story for you guys this week. It's just another day in the wild, wild west out here. <laughs> it's not a good story, I'm gonna tell you. Actually, it's not a bad story. It just involves a snake, again. But I'll tell you guys that in a little while. Let me make sure we're in the right place. Hello, I see you guys jumping on, good. I'm gonna get started um, because I have a lot um, to show you this week and um, projects, I don't know, they're simple, but they seem to be a little bit lengthy in time. Uh, the first thing I wanna tell you is that my um, uh, fundraiser class to go, the Alzheimer's Research Fundraiser class to go featuring the Kidding Around bundle, six cards, and your kit will look like this when it comes in a little um, pocket like this. And you're going to get a whole, whoa, hitting lights, whole 12 by 12 pack of DSP. Today's the last day to sign up. I might leave it open over the weekend. We'll see. Um, but if you haven't registered yet, you've got to email me for that registration link. I can't list it on Facebook or on my blog, um, per Stampin' Up! Rules, I can only send it through email. So if you're on my email list, you already got it. It went out Wednesday. Um, but if you need it again, feel free to email me. Um, all the proceeds from this class will go to Alzheimer's uh, Association, which will help fund research, hopefully. Um, and I'm doing this in honor of my dad who has Alzheimer's. So that is that, that's that class. I wanted to make sure I get one last plug for that. Um, the Last Chance products are still going strong. These two catalogs, you guys, we only have like, a, like how much, what's today, the 19th? Okay, week and a half left, a week and a half left. Um, there are a lot of things still left. There are a lot of things that are sold out. Um, so make sure you go through and look. Next week, I'm gonna start sharing on Facebook um, some of my favorite things that are still available. There's quite a bit. Um, you guys probably saw the picture yesterday of me sorting out my dies and my stamps, matching them up. I'm getting them ready for my BOGO sale. BOGO sale won't come until probably July. Um, but as I was going through all of that, I was like, oh, I love this set. Oh, I love this set. Remember we did Facebook Friday? So I'm going to pull some of that out um, of the archives and share it with you next week, just so that you know what is leaving. Um, because once it's gone, it's gone. Um, a lot of it is discounted. Um, not everything is discounted, but a lot of it is. And um, if you go to stampinup.com and you click, oh, I always forget, I think it's specials at the top under the three little lines. There's a whole section that will just pull up everything on the last chance list. And you can scroll down and it'll show you um, what's retiring. And if the price is in red, that means it's been marked down. So anyway, just wanted to let you know. And then hopefully you guys have started to get your catalogs in the mail. These go live May 1st. Um, I, if you signed up with me to get a catalog, I sent that out in March. Your catalogs were shipped directly from Stampin' Up! And I actually had one shipped to myself as a customer so I would know when, when they go out, when they start arriving. And I got that one day before yesterday so hopefully you guys have started to get your catalogs and if you're in my club create and you requested a catalog hopefully that has arrived as well if you need a catalog please email me i have more that i'd be happy to send out to you um, but you do do have to email me and ask me for that okay all right um if you cannot wait until may 1st because there are some amazing things in this new catalog you can um get some of it in a starter kit. Um, the starter kit, um, when you buy a starter kit, you can always order uh, what's on pre-order. So demonstrators can pre-order from the new catalog. So if you're interested in that, click the join link at the top of my blog. That'll take you to that link where you can start ordering your starter kit and you'll be able to see what's available. Okay, I'm gonna flip you guys around. Flip, flip. You guys, it is so humid in my studio. I don't know what the deal is, but I feel like it is super muggy in here. Does anybody have wisdom on how to make your house? Because this isn't even in my house. It's a standalone building, but I'm figuring it's the same. It has the same air conditioning as my house. Does anybody know how to reduce the humidity? 
so bad. I don't remember it from the summer. And the summer was humid, but man, I walked in this morning. I was like, ugh, yuck. Um, yes, Stacy, paper share. So I had planned on publishing my paper share details this week, and I just didn't do it. Um, I was trying to get past, gosh, it is late. I need to do that. You know what? I will do that either Saturday or Monday, um, but I am doing a paper share, yes. And it's, I'm gonna, I already priced it. I have it all written out. I'm gonna have 12 by 12, six by 12, and six by six options. So if you wanna do paper share, yes. I can't, I can't believe I have waited this late, but yes, it is coming, it is coming. Okay, today's uh, Facebook Friday is hooray for surprises, just in case you didn't know. We're not quite there yet. I have a few things to tell you. Y'all, my fan is always on. Turn off the sun, Carla, haha. -ha. The sun, that's the problem. The sun hasn't been out all week. Rhonda, a dehumidifier. I, you know what, I was thinking about that. I need to look into that. It's very sticky. Hi, Emery, is it sticky and humid at your house too? It's disgusting in here. Um, <laughs> Western South Dakota. Julie, but then I have to deal with that pesky thing you guys call snow in winter. It's one, it's, you know, it's one or the other. Hot and muggy or cold and snowy. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you, Trisha, for checking on that. I appreciate it. Um, okay, let's see. What else do I want to tell you? Um, Club Create for May features new products from the um, that new catalog I just showed you. Country Flowers is our May um, kit. It's so, so cute. Um, kind of a farmhouse look to it. We're going to make uh, four cards and a card holder, a card keeper. Um, my kits always come in these little uh, document holders, I guess is what you call them. They're perfect for storing your kits. Um, the deadline to subscribe to get May's kit is May 7th, so you still have plenty of time. Um, it is $45 a month. You get about $20 to $25 in product each month. You'll use a little bit of it on your projects, and then you'll have a lot left over to make more things. Um, if you stay around for six months, on your sixth month, you get a $25 product credit um, to spend on whatever you want. So if you would like details on my Club Create kits, um, there is a Club Create tab at the top of my blog, and you can click that, and it'll give you the details as well as the subscribe link. It is a subscription, um, but you can cancel it at any time. You're not locked in. As long as you cancel it, then you won't get charged again. Um, so, you know, but I think once you join, you probably won't want to cancel because you'll love it so much, right? <laughs> at least in my mind, that's what I think. But you guys, you know, you can always... Um, I'm reading your comments. You can always cancel when you want to. Who said that? You can always bundle up. You can only get so naked. Lisa, amen to that. Nobody wants to get naked these days, right? Ew, that's like my bleh, my least favorite thing to do, right? Um, that is too funny. But I just don't think I can handle the winters after living down here in this horrible heat for so long. I don't think I could do it. I do not think I could do it. I think I would die. Um... All-Star Tutorial Bundle this month, the Nature Sweetness 12 video tutorials. You get this PDF for free um, when you shop with me if you spend over $50 with me in April. Um, I email them out every couple of weeks to everyone who's ordered. They're video tutorials, and they're designed by 12 different Stampin' Up! demonstrators. And they, the supplies, they all have supply lists, and they all have measurements in metric and imperial so wherever you live in the world those measurements will be there for whichever you need and this is my project this month um next month is the country flowers um suite of products uh, it's not called country flowers what is it called you know the whole country that the what i just showed you from club create that's part of it so that's may's club create and then june's club create is going to be the airplane suite take to the sky. So just in case some of you wanted to know, I do get that question from time to time because we plan these out before the new catalogs come out and we don't know, you know, what's coming. So we always leave those last couple of months as open-ended. Um, okay, I'm gonna talk about my In Color Club, but that's gonna lead us directly into our projects today. So I'm gonna save that for last, but let me show you, I just got this month's Paper Pumpkin kit. Um, it, this one is called Delicate Wings. Uh, it's really beautiful. But remember, guys, if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, there's a uh, little die set that you can 
add onto an order that coordinates with three months worth of paper pumpkins. Um, this one, it's either 11 or $12. I can't remember. I think it's 12, 12. Uh, now I'm doubting myself. Anyway, it's 11 or $12, but they coordinate. You don't have to have the dice to do your paper pumpkin um, projects, but they will coordinate. Um, this month's projects have a lot of I don't know if it's champagne or if it's gold. I can't really tell, but they're all um, really pretty with that um, that um, metallic, uh, you know, print on them. What am I trying to say? See, it looks gold here, but then it, these pieces to me look like champagne. Really pretty. So I show you this because you also get it's nine cards. You get nine envelopes, nine cards, some adhesive. A stamp set and this month is a basic gray stamp and spot I tell you this because I have a few extras if you uh, forgot to change over a credit card if your credit card didn't go through um, if you decided you wanted an extra one or something um, I have extras so email me and ask me let me know that you want one. Thank you, Heidi. She says the dies are $12. It is a beautiful paper pumpkin this month, Emery. Very pretty. Oh, you were just doing your alternate projects. Cool. I just opened it um, to take a look at it right before we went live. Okay, how about prizes from last week? Uh, Sally Francisquich is our winner from last week, Encircled in Nature. Sally, thanks for sharing my video on Facebook. Every week I pick a winner. Um, Sally, I have your mailing address, so I will send that to you next week. Um, if you'd like to win, this week I have a really special prize. I have the Beach Day Bundle and the Beach Day Club Create Kit that just went out. I have an extra. So I'm gonna throw that in. That's gonna be the prize this month, I think that, or this week. I think that's a pretty good prize. Um, so if you don't have the Beach Day Bundle, um, and you would like it along with that class kit, all you have to do is share either on Facebook or on YouTube. And, um, whoa, I just closed Facebook when I was trying to clean my screen. Um, I will pick a winner next week. Oh, Sally, there you, there you are. Good, congratulations. Um, next week, I leave for the Stampin' Up! Incentive trip on Saturday. So I haven't decided if Facebook Friday is gonna be on Thursday or Friday. Um, I, I think it's going to be on Friday, but if I get, if things get crazy and I need to take Friday off, then we'll do Thursday. Um, just putting that out there just in case I have to change it. You guys, I have a little bit of a heads up. Okay. Have I covered everything? I think I have. If you haven't joined me for Facebook Friday before, make sure you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com. There is a free PDF for you. Um, this tape is no longer sticky. Um, there's a free PDF for you. It has all the measurements and the supply list for you um, for today's three projects. We are, like I said, using the Hooray for Surprises bundle. Now, my friend Kate at OnStage said, look, Erica, I need you to use Hooray for Surprises <laughs> for Facebook Friday. I said, Kate, I don't know. I'm a little intimidated by that, that bundle. And she said, and that's why I need you to use it because so am I. So Kate, I don't know if she's here today. Kate, thank you for pushing me out of my comfort zone. I do really love this bundle and I've had it from the beginning, but I hadn't used it. I'm sure some of you feel the same, a little intimidating. So I sat and I played with it. I actually got online, looked at some other projects, got a feel for it. And once you play with it, it's really not as complicated as we are making it in our, in our minds. It is carrying over to the new catalog. Um, but the thing is, when it carries over to a new catalog, you, you lose that 10% discount. So right now it's listed in the spring mini catalog as a bundle. Oh, there's Kate. Thank you, Kate. Um, it's listed as um, a bundle in the spring catalog. So you save the 10%. Now, if you wait until after May 1st, you'll still be able to order it. You just have to order the stamps and the dies separately and you don't save that 10%. So if you decide today that you want it, Make sure you get it before the end of April so that you save that 10%, okay? Okay, and the other thing that we are doing today are the new in colors. I'm so excited about these in colors. Um, these may be some of my favorite in colors yet. They are awesome. And um, 
You know, last year's in colors were muted. They were kind of dark and moody, and I didn't love them. I, I mean, I'll tell you, I didn't love them. However, after a year of playing, having them used, I love Pebbled Path and I love Copper Clay um, and Boho Blue. I mean, I ended up loving them. I just didn't love them at first, but these I love at first sight. So bright and cheery and fun. Um, so what I'm, we're gonna do first, last year when we had our color revamp, Stampin' Up! made a video and they brought out this big notebook full of cardstock of all the old colors and they compared the new colors and I kind of became obsessed with that and I was like okay I want to have a notebook like that so I so I went through what I had um and started putting in colors labeling them and then some of you sent me some colors that I didn't have last year thank you very much um, and so this year we're gonna plug these in. we're gonna compare them but here's a funny story <laughs> last week um, when I was getting this ready I was like well let me look on eBay and see what I can find for some of these retiring colors and I found a lady who was selling individual colors of cardstock three sheets of each and I ordered like I don't know, like 15 different ones. I was so excited. They're gonna be here on Monday. I was hoping they'd be here by today, but they're gonna be here on Monday. So here's my list now of what I'm missing. <laughs> I think I've got it down to just these few. The one that I really want, and if any of you have it, I will pay you for it, um, Concord Crush. Do you guys remember Concord Crush? I love that color. And I can't believe I don't have any of it. Some of these colors, I was just going to have colors that, that were around since I was a demonstrator, which was about 2009. Um, but now I'm like, okay, now I want them all. So I have, these are, I think these are the only ones that I am missing. Chocolate Chip, I can't believe I don't have that one. Um, vintage Violet, I don't even know that color, but I don't have it. Uh, Midnight Muse, that's not even a very old color, but I don't have it. Uh, Marigold Morning, Pistachio Pudding, Kiwi Kiss, True Time. Those are all before my time. Um, terracotta Tile, also not a very old color. I may even have that. It was very similar, I believe, to Tang Tangerine Tango or Tangelo Twist. So I don't even know. Um, I don't have Tangerine Tango either. Uh, Pale Papaya. I don't... Do I... I don't have that one. See, I write them down and then I'm like, wait a minute, do I have that, do I have that? Primrose Petals, also not very old. So if you guys dig around and you have packs of old cardstock and you're willing to send me a sheet, I would love it. If you, ooh, Kathy, okay, email me and I will be happy to pay you for a sheet of cardstock because now I've become obsessed. Look at my collection, I love it. So let's plug these in, okay? Let's start with Pretty and Pink. These are our new colors compared to Bubble Bath and Pink Pirouette. Pink Pirouette was a favorite. Powdered Pink, all right? So, so far, I'm thinking it's close. Well, I mean, I, you know, it, it's just, it's, it's its own thing. And Pretty and Pink is actually a color they brought back um, from the past. They've never done that as an in color before, but they did it this year. Um, strawberry slush only have half sheet, but I think that was one of the ones I ordered from that lady. Uh, berry burst, blackberry. Ooh, look how look, look, that looks pretty. Pretty and pink, blackberry bliss, and fresh fig together. That would be a pretty combo. Okay, so you've seen it compared to the pinks that I have. It's up here somewhere. Where's Flirty Flamingo? That's what I wanted to show. I don't really have these like in a, in a rainbow order. I mean, loosely. I need my mom to come over and put them in a, a, a rainbow order. There's polished pink. Um, petal pink, oh, petal pink is not even close. Groovy guava. We're getting more towards the oranges here. Cameo coral, flirty flamingo. That was the one I was going to compare it to. They go together pretty well. Flirty flamingo and pretty and pink. All right. Okay. So those, that's those, that's that. I'm going to put pretty and pink right in there. Then we have peach pie, which I love peach pie. I'm not an orange person, but I love these um, soft oranges that we've had in the past. And we're gonna use it today with uh, pumpkin pie. It goes well with pumpkin pie. Here's pumpkin pie. See how they go together pretty well? And then let's see what's behind here. There's Tangelo Twist. See, Tangelo Twist, Tangerine Tango, 
and terracotta tile. Although terracotta tile was more Cajun craze-ish, right? I think. But Tangerine Tango, Tangelo Twist, those two were very similar. Um, so Peach Pie, Pumpkin Pie, Tangelo Twist, Watermelon Wonder. Do I have watermelon? Look, now see, here's a problem. I have two things labeled Watermelon Wonder, and they are not the same. So I believe I ordered one of these from that lady. We'll have to see which one comes. Which one comes, and so then what's the other one? I don't know. I don't know. This is how my organization works, guys. Okay, here's the one I really wanted to compare it to. Ooh, Peekaboo Peach. So it's much yellower than Peekaboo Peach. In my mind, I was thinking it was Peekaboo Peach, but it's not. I don't have Pale Papaya to compare it to. Next week, I think we're using it again. So if I get Pale Papaya by next week, then we can compare it. Um, Delightful Dijon. Ooh, that looks... I loved a Delightful Dijon at the time, but right now that looks yucky. <laughs> the one that's the, the the really yucky one. Let's see. It's in here somewhere. Bumblebee I loved. So saffron. We're into the yellows now, but hold on. You guys know which one I'm getting to, right? The, the, the yellow, the yucky yellow. Hello, honey was good. It's that. Nope, nope, that's not it. Wow, wheat's pretty similar. Starfruit. Starfruit was the one that everybody called baby poop. You know, it's pretty gross. <laughs> I never could use that color. Okay, let me put peach pie. Where are my oranges? Peach pie and peekaboo peach and pumpkin pie. And then what's this one? Tangelo twist. Okay. All right, let's see what's up next. Okay, the greens. So we have a green in our new end colors called Shy Shamrock. Um, yes, that's exactly what we call it, Amory. <laughs> More mustard. Judy, do I have more mustard? I don't think I do. You know what I was thinking this morning? I only have gone through in color online. I haven't gone through retired colors. So you're right. I don't have more mustard. That is one that I, I remember liking more mustard. Um, I think. Or maybe it was the Dijon that I liked. They're both mustards. I don't know. Um, in the fall, sometimes you need that like, you know, rusty yellow, that kind of brownish yellow. It's good in the fall. Um, okay, here's Shy Shamrock. Shy Shamrock and Summer Splash are the two of the new in colors, and they're very close. Sometimes I can't tell. Like, if I just pick up the ink pad, I'm like, wait a minute, which one is that? I mean, obviously, they're very different, but they're also very similar. I know that sounds stupid, but it's true. It's true. But anyway, Shy Shamrock is a really good clover green. There's Granny Apple. There's Wild Wasabi. Have you guys seen that little video of that little girl where she asks for, she wants to eat the Wild Wasabi? And she says, she eats it and she says, help, after she eats it. It's the funniest thing. We've watched it a thousand times. And every time I read Wild Wasabi, I think of that little girl. Um, if you haven't seen that video, go Google Wild Wasabi Baby and she's begging for her mom to feed her wasabi, not wild wasabi, wasabi baby. Um, it's funny. Okay, Lemon Lime Twist and par Parakeet Party. Parakeet Party is one of those that's going away at the end of the month. Mint Macaron, Lost Lagoon, Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent. I'm looking for gumball. Do I have gumball green? I do in here somewhere. Garden Green. Okay, there's Emerald Envy. Now those are similar, but Shy Shamrock is a little shyer. <laughs> it's a little softer than Emerald Envy. There's Shaded Spruce, which is one of our current colors. Ooh, Old Olive looks very yellow next to that. Mossy Meadow. Okay, Cucumber Crush. Call Me Clover. Where's Gumball Green? Do I not have Gumball Green? Hair Pizza, I don't. Wait a minute, did I go past it? No, I thought I had, I need to add that one to my list. Hmm, I could have swore I had, oh, you know why it's not on my list? Because it's coming from that lady. I already got that one. Um, okay, so here are the three that I thought were very close. Here's Shy Shamrock, Cucumber Crush, and Call Me Clover. So Shy Shamrock is a little bluer than those two. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. So let's see um, what else we have. Summer Splash. So Summer Splash looks very much to me like Coastal Cabana. So let's look at it with Bermuda Bay, which is no longer around. 
Bermuda Bay. Definitely not Azure Afternoon. Tahitian Tide, that one's leaving at the end of the month. Here's Coastal Cabana, let's see. They are pretty close. Summer Splash is brighter than Coastal Cabana. And I don't think of Coastal Cabana as a not bright color, right? Okay, Emery, I have your um, I have your Mary Kay stuff too. I need to give that to you. I just saw your message. I will text you. Um, Coastal Cabana, Summer Splash, Bermuda Bay. So I don't know. It's brighter. It's very pretty. I like Summer Splash a lot. Here's Pool Party. Pool Party almost looks white next to it. It's so weird how the colors change when you put them next to other colors. Okay, last but not least, let's do Petunia Pop because as soon as I saw Petunia Pop, I said that looks just like sweet sugar plum but it doesn't when you put it next to sweet sugar plum it's pinker right a little redder mm, that's more purpley i don't know i i'm not a color expert um nancy sure i'll share a list of what of what i need i i feel like now i need to add a few of them um, so Petunia Pop is a bright, probably fresher, sweet sugar plum. Let's look at it next to Purple Posy and next to, you can tell this one has faded around the edges. Purple Posy was a weird color. It was almost too light. Fresh Freesia, those go good together. Fresh Freesia and Petunia Pop. And then Highland Heather, very different. Very, very different. There's Gorgeous Grape. It's more, um, has more red in it, more pink, right? Let me see, let's compare it to a pink and see what it looks like. How about Berry Burst? Ooh, Berry Burst and Petunia Pop definitely go good together. That whole, that whole color scheme right there. Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, Fresh Freesia, Petunia Pop, and Berry Burst. Very pretty. I mean, that makes me think I need to put it with the pinks, but Petunia is more purple. Hmm. Anyway, okay, well, that's that. I just wanted to share that with you guys so that you could see. I don't know why some of my purples are up here and some of my purples are in the back. I need to do a little more reorganizing of my colors, you guys. Concord Crush. I got to get it. I got to find out why I, what it looks like compared to these colors. Um here are the neutrals that pebbled path this is this is an in color that is le or not leaving we have one more year gray granite basic gray smoky slate these aren't nearly as exciting as the others but you definitely have a need for them in your in your crafting right cajun craze i have that's interesting i put cajun craze there maybe you should put that with the oranges okay anyways we could spend all day doing this but we will not i just wanted to Go through there and plug those new colors, those five new colors in so that you guys could see it. Next week when I have my new colors, maybe we'll look at them again. Um, but with that, let's talk a little bit about my In Color Club. Here are our new five In Colors. Uh, my In Color Club will run May through September. May, June, July, August, September. Five months. And each month you're going to get a kit that has all the stuff you need for one of the colors. So you're gonna get card bases, you're gonna get envelopes, you're gonna get some half sheets of cardstock, you know, like for die cutting, for matting. Um, you're gonna get some of the glimmer paper, you're gonna get ink, ink refill, you're gonna get the Stampin' Blends, the ribbon, the marker, the ink pad. You're also gonna get a card kit to make two, two of two different cards. So you'll have four cards total. You're gonna to get the little um, color coach, and the sketches that you can add to a ring for, you know, for um, like when you need ideas for card sketches, you'll have those. Um, this kit, um, it's a subscription and I, I am completely drawing a blank. It's $67 a month, I believe. And, um, and you're gonna get a free embellishment each month. Um, of course, you'll get the in colors one of the months, but there'll be other things that'll come as well. So the, the two projects will come also as a PDF and a video. 
Um, and the first month we'll be using the Country Birdhouse. I lost a bow. The Country Birdhouse stamp set to make our cards. Um, if you're interested in that, you have until April. April 30th is the last day to register um, to subscribe to this club. Um, I will order everything on May 1st while I am laying on the beach in Mexico. <laughs> the catalog goes live while we are on our incentive trip, which is going to be very strange. Okay, the details on that are on today's PDF right here. You can click that link or at the bottom of today's blog and you will find those details. Okay, you guys ready to stamp? I think I've talked long. Oh my gosh, I've talked for half an hour. How did you guys let me do that? Hold on, let me, let me get started. All right. Today's projects aren't hard, but I found that yesterday when I was filming the videos, they, they took, I don't know, they took a lot of time. All right, the first card we're gonna make. The thing with these dies is you create these little windows. So like this is what this one looks like when you send it to the recipient. The die cuts this so that it's perforated and then they peel it off and there's a message or something behind it. Um, so really, I mean, that's, that's all it is. It's not, you know, not terribly complicated, but you do kind of have to think ahead while you're doing it. So this is the first card we're going to make. It has uh, petunia pop and um, pretty in pink and some summer splash in it as well. It also has a sneak peek of some paper that's called Unbound Beauty. I've used this paper. This is going to be in the new catalog. I love this print that we're using. And it has um, all, I think, all the new in colors in it. All right, so add that to your wish list because it is beautiful. And you know, when I saw it in the catalog, it didn't necessarily jump out at me, but boy, now that I've played with it, I'm like, I need to order some more for sure. Okay, let's make our little window first. So we're gonna use these dies. I've got two um, pretty and pink stylish shape circles, the largest circles. One of them, we're gonna cut out this little window, and this is the perforated window. The other one is gonna go underneath it. Now, I have cut out a template already so that I can use this to stamp my message in there so I'll know where to center it. Because we're doing it on a circle, it's really not that difficult. Um, but if you were maybe putting it on something else, you'd wanna create a little template so that you can get it right in the middle. So we're gonna use that little, basically what this is, is I have cut this and peeled the, the heart out of it and it left this little frame. So I'm gonna stamp, hope your birthday is wonderful, right in the middle in Petunia Pop. And then I'm gonna get the little heart and just stamp a couple of little hearts like that, okay? All right, so we'll set that aside. Now for this, before I die cut it, I'm gonna stamp some hearts on it as well using Pretty in Pink. And there are several heart dies in this set. One of them cuts the perforated heart. One of them cuts a solid heart. And one of them cuts a heart that has little circles cut out of it. But the thing about that die is it doesn't cut out the outline of the heart. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Um, the first time I did, I was like, wait a minute, that didn't do what I thought it was gonna do. Um, this is the heart that I'm talking about right here. So it's gonna create basically a sticker that we're gonna put on top of this perforated heart. And to do that, I'm gonna use my adhesive sheets because we know what's gonna happen if we put liquid glue on the back of that heart. There's like 14,000 holes that that glue is gonna squeeze out of. So put your um, adhesive sheet on the back of your Petunia Pop. And now let's see my cut in emboss machine. You guys, I got a splinter this week from my cut and emboss machine. Have you ever done that? Every now and then, these dies, like a little metal shaving will come off and it's stuck in my finger and I have done everything I could possibly do to get it out and it will not come out. So if you have tips on that too, please. 
<laughs> I'm like crowdsourcing this week. I have lots of needs. Okay, this is the perforated heart. So we're gonna cut this one out first. I went and bought an ointment. It's a, some kind of salve, I Googled it, that's supposed to like, you know, extract things and it did not work. Um, see how that left that intact? You wanna leave that there, don't pop it out. All right, now this one, we're gonna use this holy heart, if you will. And the holy heart, when you cut it out, doesn't cut the outline. So we're gonna take the outline heart and set that across there. What, Kimberly? What is that? P-R-I-D? Uh, Anne-Marie, I've got plenty of those barking dogs. Boy, let me tell you, I just had to lock them in because the poor neighbors are sitting outside in their yard and Charlie's just out there telling them all about it. Let them have it. Soak your hand in hot water and, oh, you know what, Wendy? I did read something about Epsom salt and I did not, that is one thing I did not try. I went to bed last night, I put that ointment on there and then I made like this like whole little contraption over my finger <laughs> because you're not supposed to put pressure on it so that it could extract. I did not sleep well because of that. My husband was like, uh, what's going on with your hand? <laughs> like, leave me alone, have a splinter. Okay, so here's our cute little, our cute little um, heart. And you're gonna want your dye brush. You're also gonna want your foam mat that comes with your dye brush that I cannot find. I don't know where mine is. And then you're gonna peel off this adhesive. Um, Heidi, I tried that. Um, the first day that I got it, you know, I could feel it on the edge of my skin. You know, I could feel it. And now I can't feel it at all. I can see it, but I can't feel it. it it's very tender. And so it's like down in there. It's, I don't know. <laughs> it may live with me forever. All right, so stick that there. There's this little, um, this little stamp that says pull. And it doesn't fit on... It doesn't fit on that tab right there. That tab is too small. For the third project, I'm gonna show you how to make that bigger. So I just stamped it right there next to it. Okay, now we're gonna sandwich it onto this one. I'm sweating. I wasn't sweating until I went live. Drink a margarita too. <laughs> oh yes, that sounds perfect. I have, we have to go across town for basketball practice tonight. I'm thinking, Hmm, what restaurants are in the area? All right, so just put your glue around the edge and stick that down right there. Don't put your glue anywhere on that circ I mean on that heart. Okay, so set that over here. I'm gonna set my ink pad on it so it'll dry flat. And let's put the rest of it together. Okay, hold on. I have to get a ponytail holder because I am dying. I was not this hot and sweaty until I turned these lights on. Maybe I should turn my fan up higher. Hold on. Hopefully it won't shake. Well, here it is. Hopefully it won't shake the camera. You guys tell me if the camera starts to shake. Remember in my old studio that used to happen, but I don't think it's gonna happen in here. Okay. It's a foreign object. Your body will push down eventually. So Lisa, you know, that's what I was thinking, but I know my dad, when I was a kid, he had a, a, the tip of a pencil in his leg for like 30 years. So, I don't know. I'm thinking, you know, that does sound like it, like it should be true, but I don't know. <laughs> Hardcore response, Nicole. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I'm cutting this, trimming this down because I, it's the wrong size. All right, so this is the Unbound Love, Unbound Beauty designer series paper. We're gonna mat it. A little piece of bacon fat with a Band-Aid. Brenda, what? Bacon fat. Dad taught me this and still worked even through bacon fat. So like the stuff that cooks off the bacon, like grease, that is hilarious. I just cleaned out my bacon grease yesterday. I know that's probably more than you guys wanted to hear, but <laughs> I hate doing that. Ugh, gross me out. Dig it out, Nancy, I tried, and my finger was like swollen. I couldn't get it out. It did not come out. Okay, this paper right here is the In Color Family DSP pack. You know, each of our color, each of our 
Family Colors has its own paper pack. And then it's like basic patterns. So this year's patterns are stripes, polka dots, like a floral, and then kind of like um, damask. Dem dem mm, I don't know if that's the right description. I don't know. I'll show you on our third project, the other pattern. All right, Petunia Pop Ribbon. The in color ribbon is this year is fantastic. It's light and soft, and it's not going to bulk up your projects. All right, so you've got all that. Let's get our dimensionals. Just a piece of, oh, oh, Brenda, I don't know if I can do that. Oh, I don't think I can. My husband does like bacon. He might be like, hey, what's that I smell? <laughs> Gross, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. When I was a kid, I shouldn't even tell this story. I shouldn't even tell this story. My mom is on here. I had a wart on my foot when I was a kid. And my mom read that if you put a banana peel on it, it would get rid of it. And I walked around with a banana peel on my foot for like five days. It did not work. <laughs> it did not work. So there you go. You know, you, know, you never know what you're going to learn during Facebook Friday. You, you're learning all kinds of medical things today. All kinds, Cindy. Yeah, I just, I put that out there for the internet. BLTs for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Anne Marie, that's funny. Oh my gosh. I did buy bacon at Sam's this week in bulk. In bulk. I'm, maybe banana peel does too with bee stings. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Okay. <laughs> you guys, we've gone off the rails. What are we even doing right now? What are we doing? Okay. Everybody focus. Pretty in pink. We're going to stamp this little tiny heart in Petunia Pop. I do have a snake story for you guys but I got to get to a point where I can tell you it's not as good as the other snake story, but it's almost as good. I live for bacon. Joan, I eat bacon a lot. I love it. Good protein. Good protein, right? Bacon makes everything better. I, you know what? One of my daughters will not eat bacon. She grosses her out. She doesn't like it. I don't know where she came from. Okay, you guys. We made a card during all that. You learned how to get rid of a wart. You learned how to maybe get rid of a splinter. And you learned how to make a card all in one project. <laughs> okay, while I'm cleaning up, yeah, Kimberly, Amory, you better be careful when you walk up my driveway is all I got to say. Here's what happened. My mailman, I had set out all of Club Create, 240 packages out front. And you know, my little mail guy, he's a little like overwhelmed by our mail situation out here, but he's very sweet to me. He takes care of things, whatever. So I see him pull up and he pulls up right outside the door of my studio. And I can see him like, you know, like wiping his brow, like, oh great, look at all this mail. And um, I went out there to hand him something. And he said, I thought, you know, when you, when you um, filled out the pickup form, it said you only had three things. And I was like, well, that was wrong because we have 240 things. But anyway, so he was out there loading it all up in his little Jeep Cherokee and he left. So literally it was like four minutes later, I opened my studio door to go across to the house and there's a snake right there, literally mm, 10 feet from my door. Now, my husband insists that I tell you the snake was like this big, okay? But you guys know how I feel about snakes. And it snake this big, this big, this, I don't care. It's a snake and it's disgusting and I hate it. So this snake was just sitting there not moving. And it was right where the mailman had been parked. And I pick up the phone. I call my husband who of course is not here. I say, um, there is a snake in the driveway. I send him a picture and he says, oh, that's just a rat snake. You'll be fine. He says everything is a rat snake. Long story short, my mom comes over. The snake is barely moving. She gets this big, long pincher things that my husband bought. She pinched, picked up the snake and put it in a bucket. So, I mean, wow, right? I couldn't even watch her do it. It grossed me out so bad. When my husband got home, he said it was a hog nose snake. Next day, mail guy comes. I tell him and he says, Oh yeah, I saw that snake when I got out of my car. I thought it might be a rattlesnake, but then I forgot to tell you. I'm like, friend, if you see a snake 10 feet outside my door, 
I think that would be the first thing that you tell me, right? So that is snake number four in the 10 months that we have lived here. I mean, I don't know if I can live here, you guys. I don't know if I can live here. Yes, Joan, we've tried lots of snake repellent. We live, our, our property borders a state park. It's very rough out here, <laughs> very rugged. And um, I, don't think, I don't think there's anything we can do. I think we just have to watch where we go. And now we have poisonous caterpillars on top of that. And we had a tarantula this size in our garage. So you guys, ugh, snakes, four of them, four different snakes each time. Okay, clear your mind of snakes because I have something very fun to tell you. I saw uh, Marianne Stiles did a project using these little tube windows. And I was like, what are those? I have to find them. They're called money holders and you get them on Amazon. And they're like, I can't even remember, 50 for like $14. I don't know, they're cheap and there's a lot of them. So I'm gonna show you how to use this little window to along with the little zipper pull, see how the zipper pull peels it apart on the inside and then your little granddaughter or your cousin or whoever can pull the money out when they love that very cute right now here's the other option if you don't want to give them money chapstick fits just as well okay now and that's a big fat vaseline chapstick and it fits in there so today on my blog i do have a link for these um if you want to order them they're very inexpensive Okay, so the first thing, <laughs> stop thinking about snakes. I know you guys are thinking about snakes. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is put this in here. Now, when you order these, they come with like this sticker situation right here, okay? And uh, you're going to peel this off. And this is very sticky. Let's see if it'll get my splinter. No, it's not even doing anything. Um, take this part right here. This is double-sided. And we're going to, hold on. I gotta do this with two hands. You're just gonna set this down on here. You know, we've had things like this before, the little gumball cups and the little shaker cups that we've had in the past. Boy, I did a crappy job with that. You know, you just put the adhesive on there like that. Boy, I did a real bad job. Okay, so there's that. Now, here's a piece of our new peach pie. And I'm gonna take this and I'm hopefully gonna get it straighter than I did yesterday. You wanna get it in the middle and set it down. Now, what you could do, I was thinking about this yesterday, stick that down on cardstock and cut it out and then just set it down there and trace it with your pencil. That way you don't have to be like, oh, is it straight? You could do it like that, okay? Now, I have to get my glass mask. Hold on, where is it? And here comes the tricky part, okay? You're gonna get, I know it's very glary, I apologize. Get your Where'd I put it? Your take your pick tool. We have this scary situation <laughs> that you can add to your take your pick tool, this X-Acto knife. And you're just gonna very slowly go around the edge. Now, you guys, I don't have a very steady hand, but I can do this because it's an edge and you just really, the knife is just staying right there on the edge. As I say that, it slips off a little bit, but for the most part. And we're gonna cover it up with that money anyway. Nobody's gonna care if it's not perfect, okay? And then just go around. You could do this with your scissors, I suppose, too. Like that, okay? Let's see if I got it. Kate, your uh, grandkids will love this, this project. So you need to use your your hooray for surprises to send your grandkids in Hawaii some money or some, I mean, you could put M&Ms in there, you could put chapstick and whatever, lots of options. Okay, so now we're gonna take this and you peel that adhesive. It's money, who's looking at the edges? Exactly, Nancy, exactly. This uh, 50 right here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take out to pay my uh, cleaning lady next week. Maybe I should leave it in there and put some more and then give it to her like that. If only she cost $50. Okay, now 
set this down right on there and now it is stuck okay all right so there's that um, I have a 20 to roll up to put in here let's just roll it I should wait though because we're gonna do some other things to it we're gonna put that in here let me just now that I've rolled it what can I stick it under? Okay, stay right there. All right, but let's make it cute because right now it's not cute yet. I'm using the heart from Filled With Fun. We're gonna stamp it in peach pie and you're just gonna, you know, ooh, that, that was not good. Okay, Erica, slow down and do it right. Well, now that one looks like Mickey Mouse. Oh, well, my kids won't care. All right, just stamp the hearts as you go. I need a little bit of grid paper here so that I don't get this. You might wanna do the hearts before you put the, the window or not. All right, just stamp them as you go, making them super cute, okay? Then we're gonna take another piece of DSP from <laughs> Emery says that knife makes it the take your finger tool. I agree. When that knife came out, it has, isn't it this other, isn't this the other piece that goes with that? And we've talked about that. We have talked about that scary tool right there and how it will destroy your finger. Um, this is the print on the other side, by the way, of the stripes. All right, so you're going to put that right across there like that. And then we're gonna get the, I almost called it peekaboo peach. It is peach pie, peach pie ribbon. And we're gonna tie a bow right here. Have you guys made your wish list from the new catalog? I need to do that so that when I'm in Mexico on May 1st, I could put in my order too. All right, snip, snip. Let's cut the ends. Oh, I didn't do that very well. Snip, there we go. All right, now let's make our little heart. I have already cut out, we're gonna do it exactly the same way we did the other one. I cut out a melon mambo heart. I think the, this color combo, melon mambo, uh, peach pie and pecan pie look really cute together. This heart I cut out, this isn't the heart we used on the first um card it's this heart right here that we cut remember we put that around the holes so now i've cut out a solid heart there so that's um pretty in pink also and where's my little trash bowl and then we're going to peel off the adhesive right there and then we're going to stamp Our sentiment, we're gonna use the birthday one again, but I need to clean it. We're gonna stamp it in both peach pie, and then we're gonna clean it and stamp it in melon mambo, and we're gonna cut these apart. I wanted them to be little strips. So, where is my trimmer? So we're gonna do the hope your and is wonderful. Those two are gonna be in peach pie. And then over here, we're gonna cut out the birthday from Melon Mambo. Now the birthday, I need little scissors for this. We're gonna flag both ends. And so the way that I do that is I cut a little snip right in the middle and then I go from the bottom corner up to the top of that cut, and then do the top corner over to that cut, and then you have that perfect little flag there. All right, so this is a really tiny one, which makes it even a little trickier. If you have a flag punch, you can try it too, but because it's so small, it might be a little tricky. All right, these we're just gonna cut straight. Hope your birthday is Wonderful. Now, I don't know if I'd give somebody chapstick for their birthday. 
I mean, maybe if it's like a coworker or something, you don't really spend money on them. Maybe. But you could also change the sentiment to something else. Now, also, if you're going to mail these, you're probably going to need to put it in like a, not a regular envelope, but a padded envelope. All right, I'm going to use these uh, adhesive, foam adhesive strips for this. I've been really using these a lot lately. I really like them especially for long and skinny things like this. All right, so we'll put that there, and that's gonna go right in the middle. And then hope your is gonna go, look at that beautiful, fits perfectly. Hope your birthday. I feel like I need to zoom in just a tad bit. I should have done that a little bit earlier. All this chocolate pie is making me hungry. I know, maybe that's where we should go for dinner. Pie for dinner, you know? Pie for dinner. Sounds really good. Okay, so hope your birthday is wonderful. Then we'll take uh, just some regular dimensionals and put that, we're gonna just sandwich that ribbon right there. Now we're gonna add some other little hearts, but I'm gonna wait to the end because we're gonna use liquid glue on those. Okay, so now let's put the little zipper. So we're gonna put this on here like this. And when you open the card, the zipper needs to be up here. So, so that I know where it's gonna need to be, I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna just eyeball it kind of and put little markers right there in the middle of where that is. The zipper doesn't have to be exactly it's narrower anyway, so they're going to have to kind of finagle their fingers in there to get it out. Um, so we're going to put it just roughly right around the right area. Now, this is a good time to use your post-it tape because I guarantee you this is going to slip in there and then it'll be nice and crooked. You know, Lisa, Friday was always pizza day here as well. My daughter, my ninth grader came home yesterday and said, lunch was bus, mom. Bus, if you don't know, means like good. And I was like, oh yeah, what they have? She said, they had these garlic knots and chicken nuggets and smiley fries. <laughs> I was like, whoa, that sounds like a bus lunch for sure. She was all excited. She loves when they have strawberries. Those are her favorite. Okay, so can you guys see? that little thing there. And then we'll take, um, see, I'm gonna use Melon Mambo and I'm gonna stamp that little pull right there on the inside, okay? So now we'll flip this over. And I mean, why don't we use the strips on this as well? I have a magnet stuck to my scissors. I wonder where that magnet came from. Let's do this. And this, we'll put one here. The smiley fries, my husband said, what are smiley fries? I'm like, come on, you know what smiley fries are. I said, they're like round, po round potato fries that have the smiley face in the middle. Uh, he's like, I don't know what those are. Okay, money, let's put the money in. All right, you wanna put the denomination so they can see it. And then very carefully, we're gonna center that right there. And there we go. All right, so then they would open it and And I put the pull on this side, you could put it on that side too. I don't know, both, all three times I just felt like the pull needed to be on that side. But there you go. Cute, right? Okay, now, easy. I mean, I, you know, I was like, I don't know what to do with this zipper. And then when I saw that, I was like, oh, okay, we can do that. We can do that, that's easy. All right, let's put some peach pie hearts on the inside and some melon mambo hearts. Here comes my husband's truck. Y'all are gonna hear it. The whole dang neighborhood can hear it when he pulls in. Super loud, so annoying. Ugh. All right, now I have matted this. You know what, I didn't put the measurements for the inside part on today's sheet, but it's just 
the same as the front. So four by five and a fourth is the peach pie, and then three and three fourths by five is the basic white. Okay, last but not least, I feel like we needed a little more. So I got these dies, and these are new. Um, Hearts and Hugs is these cute little walruses, and I think it's a mouse, and a little chipmunk or something. And I cut out some hearts, and I forgot to cut the little ones. I only have the big ones. So we'll just use the big ones. And we're just gonna adhere these around the area like that. All right, and then we are done with this card. Very fun little card. I gotta remember to take the money out of them before I throw them into my cards for sale box or somebody's gonna get a surprise like my daughter when she found that $300 in the wallet at the uh, estate sale and she thought she had hit the lottery. <laughs> okay, what do you guys think? Pretty fun, right, and easy. Not terribly difficult when you see somebody else do it. I think it makes it a little bit easier. All right, one more. I think that's my favorite today. That's my favorite card. And not just because it has money in it. I mean, that does make it fun, but. All right, let me clean up just a little bit and we'll get the last one. The last one is a shaker card. And it's so humid in here that the first shaker I made completely fell apart. When I got it out yesterday, everything just dumped out of the bottom of it. Because I used, I didn't use liquid glue, I used foam adhesive. And when it's muggy, you need to use that liquid glue. All right, so here is our card. All right, here's my original. I put some glue in it, but look, it's still coming up down at the bottom. All right, so here's what it's gonna look like. See how I made the pool a little bit bigger? And we're gonna pull that up, and the message is gonna be on the window sheet where you can see the little shaker things in there. All right, as they fly out the bottom. Okay, so let's get this one. This one's pretty easy, I think. Let's get all of this. What time is it? Oh yeah, we are gonna be, I knew today was gonna go long. We're gonna stamp on a window sheet, um, which means you're gonna need your stays on this time. Stays on is a good solvent ink. It won't smear, it'll dry pretty quickly on your window sheet. All right, the first thing that I did was cut a frame using these two. This is the radiating stitches dies, the large rectangle, and then the second largest, and I put them together and cut that out so I have a frame. You're gonna have that inside piece, just save it for another project. Um, now, we've got a window sheet, and we do sell, window, I have way too many circles over here. We do sell these window sheets. I have somebody ask me that every time. Where do you get the clear plastic? We sell it, it's in our catalog. So uh, it comes 12 by 12. You're gonna cut it down so that it is the size of your frame. And I am going to hopefully not get my greasy fingerprints on there. Lay it down like that, okay? Now, I am not gonna use my template here because I know pretty much I would just wanna stamp that right in the middle. So let me get you know, I think the last time I used a different stamp, it doesn't matter. This time we'll use this one, sending you lots of love. And we're gonna stamp that right in the middle. Be careful, because it is a little slip sliding around, right? And give it some time to dry, but it'll dry pretty fast. And then turn that over, hopefully I don't smear it. Let's see, I should have done this a different way. Let's put this down like this. Okay. Now, to make the shaker, we're going to bring back those foam adhesive strips. All right. And I like to put mine real close to the window because if you put them, like if you put them on the outside of the frame, like the outside edge, then um, your little, your little, things will go down there, like when they're holding it like this, they'll all be hidden down there and you won't be able to see them. So you wanna keep your shaker pretty tight and up close to the edge of the frame. All right, then take another one and you just wanna make sure 
that you don't have any gaps. All right, now mine's gonna be a little bit crooked. You know what, let's shorten this one up. And so I just take this and bump it right next to that. Make sure there's no gaps for those little shaker circles to um, slip out. Now these shaker circles are the only thing that I use today that are on the last chance list. And they're on sale like for $4. So if you don't have them yet, get them. They're so cute. And they go really well with these colors. All right, peel off the backing. I did that one already. And then get your little, your little shaker circles. Put them in. Maybe we need some more. Don't let them touch the adhesive because if they touch the adhesive, that's gonna create a gap. And here's our summer splash paper. You can do the stripes or you can do the floral. This is that other print I was talking about in there. It has the polka dots on the other side. I think I'm gonna do the floral this time. And then I'm gonna set that very carefully on top of those rectangles. Thanks, Andrea, for the share. All right, and there you go. So now, I, I mean, you know, a shaker never gets old. I remember the first time I made a shaker and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. I still feel that way. Okay, so there's your shaker. Now I'm gonna just put some adhesive on the back of this. Probably should have put it on the card base, but that's okay. And we'll put that right there on a summer splash card base. Okay, now let's make our tag. We are going to stamp. We're gonna cut and stamp. We're gonna use, again, the perforated heart. And we're gonna cut out, I'm trying to think of what we're doing. Yeah, we're gonna stamp the heart on a separate sheet of paper and cut it out. So, oh, you know what? Let me get my little foam piece. If you have photopolymer stamps, guys, that don't stamp very well, you get like a bubble in the middle, Set it down on a foam mat and you'll get a better image, a more solid image. This one, I don't know where this one is from. All right, you can use fun foam, you can use a piercing mat, you can use the, the little mats that came in your um, Stamparatus. All right, let's cut this out. Now, we're gonna extend that tab so that it's a little bit bigger. And the way I'm gonna do that is just by cutting a piece of this, a piece of the zipper. And I'm gonna cut this out like this, careful. Okay, like that. And then we've got this little zipper, which we're gonna just completely take out like that. Now, the one with the perforations, make sure you get it right in the middle. Okay, remember it stays in there, that one stays. All right, so for this, we really just need like one little section and then the end part. And I'm gonna take the pull stamp, which is right here. I gotta clean it off. And we will stamp with Summer Splash right there on the end, like that. All right, and I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna add it to that right there, like that. So now they can pull that, it's just a little bit bigger. And then we'll just take this one and we'll sandwich that in between that so you don't see the whole thing. Like that. Okay. And then, uh-oh, I lost my, my ribbon. Nothing is sticking in here. Everything is coming apart. All right, a little bit of liquid glue on the edges and I'm gonna stick that right over my sentiment and I'm adhering it just to that frame, okay? 
And then of course we have Summer Splash Ribbon. Now, if you guys put your orders in between now and Monday at midnight, I'm gonna send you this make and take kit for free. I don't think I mentioned that at the beginning. Um, I have ordered extra of everything. We are limited to what we can order during pre-order, but I think I'll have enough of all the paper the only, and the ribbon. The only thing I am not gonna have enough of are these because they are on unorderable right now. They are uh, sold out until May. So just know if you get the kit from me next week, it's gonna be missing these little corner things. But you can add them when you get yours. All right, and then I'm just gonna put some of these, let's use the little ones this time. I'm just gonna put these in the corners like that. Christine, Summer Splash is your favorite. Yeah, you know, I love these. I truly love all five of them, and I don't ever normally say that, but this year, I do. I definitely do. Okay, that was an easy one, don't you think? The first one and the third one are very easy. The middle one is moderate, I would say, because you gotta use that exacto knife. Um, let me show you a couple more things before you go, okay? Um, yesterday's card is this one. We, I used the circle for this one, um, and it peeled off and I stamped the little cake on the inside. So that's that. It comes with these dies, these flowers, and uh, this is the Shy Shamrock. Again, all, the, all of these are new in colors except for um, the yellow. Hello, what is Lemon Lolly? All right, now here's a card we made at um, on stage. This was an extra class we could do at night. And my friend Kimberly, Kimberly, are you still here? She made this card. Um, me and Kimberly and Rhonda, we teamed up. We each had a different stamp set and we made each other the card. So we came home with three sets of cards. So this was Kimberly's and I loved, this was my favorite one the whole day, the whole night. And so I cased it with this stamp set. Didn't use any of this, the windows, but I used a new background stamp for that. And then I inked up this little strip with a um, petunia pop, pretty in pink and peach pie. And then I added that flower. And so it's pretty much the same, just different stamps. All right, so that'll be on my blog on Monday. All right, Kate, you're welcome. Thank you, I'm glad you pushed me because honestly, I probably would have put this set on the back burner. And I'm so glad you told me to use it because I, I do really love it. It was really, really fun to use. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's projects. Remember, if you put in your order by Monday at midnight, please use this host code. And if you do, I will send you a make and take kit of all three. Where's the other one? So they put them over here all three cards now i won't be sending you the 50 dollars bill to put in your card <laughs> but i will send you the plastic window for your card okay let me move over to be centered all right you guys have a great weekend next friday i have planned um flower cart the flower cart bundle and we're gonna be using in colors again and some um, new sneak peek paper um Right now, I'm saying it's going to be Friday, but I'm saying it could possibly be Thursday, too. <laughs> I'm leaving town very early Saturday morning, um, but I am going to shoot for Friday. We'll see. But I'll let you guys know if it changes, okay? Thank you guys for hanging with me today. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week. Bye.